Bunch, I work for Garrett Forge, as you might have noticed from my fancy t-shirt. I just want to trigger discussion around uh, dashboard and metrics because in, in, Get, in Garrett we don't really have a, a let's say, a default dashboard with some uh, fancy metrics that you can have a look at. And sometimes you find out that you need a metric when you are doing the root cause analysis after a note, you say, ah, damn it, if I had that metric, uh, my life would have been easier and, and, and I wouldn't be here now. So what I'm doing, I'm just sharing my, the top five of my favorite dashboard. And I would like at the end, if you want to propose which one are your favorite dashboard, which one do you think that are, can be helpful for the, the community in general, this is me. Uh, whenever I get in the office in the morning, I get my coffee. I'm gonna start to look at my Splunk dashboard with my, uh, you know, fancy metrics. I try to understand how looks, how how uh, Garrett has been behaving during the night, the, the previous day, and kind of forecasting my day. And well, why metrics and are important? We know because we don't want to end up in this, in this situation. So our client is running on fire in the background, and we don't even realize that. Yeah, that Garrett is falling apart. So where can we gather metric from in, uh, from in, uh, in Garrett? Well, we have the Prometheus exporter plugin, we have Java Melody, but we also have Garrett logs. And Garrett logs are really, really rich of information. So sometimes are really under-evaluated, but Garrett logs are really, really important. Uh, the dashboard I'm gonna show you are coming from Garrett logs. So you don't need to install any plugin to gather these uh, particular metrics. Some of them are kind of custom metrics, but uh, I will talk you, uh, I will walk you through later. So Git upload pack, simple, easy. In uh, uh, Prometheus, um, uh, so Garrett exposes the uh, Git upload pack and Git receive pack metrics, but they are an aggregation of the whole system. So if you really want to have a breakdown of your of your repository, you want to have a look in the log. And that's really important uh, to understand the different pattern of usage of your repository. In particular, I will, later on, I will talk about load testing. Um, in particular, when you want to profile your, uh, your traffic, your, your, your li live data traffic to, to simulate with uh, tools, uh, for example, in staging and, and try to run some load tests that are meaningful because you are simulating the traffic that you usually have in, in production. So number four is the Polygarit UI versus all UI usage. That's really important because when something that Luca was mentioning in the, um, when, he, when he did a talk about migration, uh, something that actually I think he skipped is the communication to, to your client, to your user. You need to tell user which are the new feature coming. For example, when you will migrate from uh, Garrett 216 to Garrett 3.0, as Lucas was saying, you know, the, uh, the old UI is gone. You can't use it anymore. So you don't want from one day to another that your uh, user find out suddenly that they can't use you anymore, the, the old. Uh, the old UI. So you want to educate your user. You want to say, hey guys, why are you not using the, 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 the new UI? Is there an issue stopper? We, we should wait, we should hold back with the migration to uh, 3.0. So you want to have a clear picture of how many users are still on the old UI. And in this, in this particular example, this, that is coming from a client of us, and uh, we've been rolling in 2.16 for for months, and the, the, you can see this, the usage of the old UI is, is, the, is the blue slice is quite, is quite prominent. So we will, we will have to proactively go and talk with our user to understand why uh, they're not using the, the new UI yet. So number three, LDAP connection failure. Well, Garrett is really sensitive to, uh, you know, LDAP integration, so if you're using LDAP as a, a authentication, uh, well, you want to have a, a look at that because what happens usually is that uh, users start complaining, say, ah, Garrett, it doesn't work, it's down. But in reality is that LDAP is down and maybe LDAP is maintained by another, uh, by another team and you don't have a clear picture of it. So, you know, you, know, you need to protect yourself, you need to uh, make sure that 
you know, you know straight away that you're having connection problem with LDAP, and that's so, something okay. super easy you, you can extract from, from your logs, from your Garrick logs. Silver medal, repository size. So nowadays the, you know, the monorepo hype is, it's a thing, you know, it's a big thing. It's been, in the last year, it's, it's been a, a big thing. So um, many more companies are adopting it. And you want to have a clear picture on how your repositories are evolving in time. So you don't want to have a surprise like we did have a couple of months ago where Suddenly, a repo double its size, and uh, yeah, of course, uh, people start screaming, and we, we did have some, some, some issue in Gary. So you want to have a clear picture on, uh, uh, on that. Top price goes to the GGC matrix. So when you start dealing with monorepo, you have to be really strict, and you have to make sure that your, uh, your GC, your GGC, runs possibly multiple times a day, and you want to make sure that if there is something that went wrong. So what I did here, I just collect, every time we run a GC, I just collect the metrics of uh, JIT count objects, and I just drop them in a, in a, in a log file, formatted, more or less, and I, and I just uh, graph out the, the result of, of that command. That way I can have a clear picture and I can spot straight away if, for example, a collection cycle failed. In which case, you know, you need to act upon before you have uh, the performance degradation of your uh, repository. What are your metrics? Which metrics do you think are interesting? Yeah, just raise your hand now or just grab me later. That's it for me.